To enter a new purchase order, begin by navigating to the Purchase Order Entry window. Next, click the New button. On the summary sheet, the PO number defaults to zero. Once you save it, a new number will be assigned by the system. The PO type defaults to standard. This reflects a typical buy-sell relationship with your supplier. Other types include Customer Managed, which you'll use if you are purchasing material you will store on behalf of a customer, and Supplier Managed, which you'll use if you are storing the material on consignment from the seller. The PO date defaults to today's date, but you can edit it if you need to. Click the Supplier button to find and select the supplier ID. You can also enter it directly if you know it. When you select a supplier, the system retrieves any details about that supplier that are attached to its record. For example, the supplier's address and the contact's name populate here. Now click Save. Note that the system has assigned a PO number. That's the first step in entering a new PO. Next, you'll enter lines for the items you need to purchase. These steps are covered in another video.